Good afternoon on one of the mild grey and cloudy day. It is Thursday the 25th of January and I'm in the arena with a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to continue unboxing. And what I have got in here is Politics on the Edge, a memoir from within by Rory Stewart. So, uh, a political journey through turbulent times. On, over the course of a decade, from 2010, Roy Stewart went from being a political outsider to standing uh, for Prime Minister before being sacked from a Conservative Party he'd come to barely recognise. Uh, uh, tackling ministerial briefs on flood response and prison violence, engaging with conflict and poverty abroad as a Foreign Minister, and Brexit as a Cabinet Minister, um, Stewart learned firsthand how profoundly hollow and inadequate our democracy and government had become. Cronyism, Ignorance and sheer incompetence ran rampant. Around him, individual politicians laid the foundations for the political and economic chaos of today. Stuart emerged battered but with a profound uh, affectation for his constituency of Penrith and the border and a deep direct insight into the era of populism and global conflict. Politics on the Edge invites us into the uh, mind of one of the most interesting actors on the British political stage. Uncompromising, candid and darkly humorous, this is a story of the challenges, absurdities and realities of political life a new classic of a uh, political memoir and a remarkable portrait of our age. So, um, you're possibly wondering why I've got this. Well, I have an interest in politics, British politics, uh, let alone my interest in American politics. Um, and uh, this looked like an interesting book to read. Uh, it's coming from a point of view which I can, um, to some extent, agree with, um, in that uh, my political allegiances do not lie necessarily with the Conservatives. Um, but I could actually listen to him talk, uh, because he actually talks reasonably and in an intelligent fashion, um, in comparison, I would say, with um, the rest of his, uh, unlike the rest of his fellow party members, um, which um, um, are in government today. So yes, unfortunately, it does mean you know that I am going to express um, a, a sort of political view here um, in the course of discussing this book. Um, and the fact that essentially that um, in many cases, uh, you know, Stuart's colleagues hadn't actually done anything interesting with their lives up until the point where, um, you know, he, they enter politics. They'd essentially go from university to a career in law or something like that and straight into politics. He had actually um, been somewhere and he basically ended up um, you know, he'd been uh, a tutor to um, Prince Harry and Prince William at one point. Um, he had um, walked across um, Afghanistan. He'd um, been governor of a region in Iraq, I think, something like that. So, you know, that's an interesting and incredible background. Um, you know, whether you, whether you dislike what he stands for, who he is, um, and so on, that's definitely an interesting background. So it gives you a more, um, you know, a more interesting point of view from, um, you know, from which he is writing. Um, so, that, uh, um, and of course, you know, it is going to be full of his own biases, his own opinions, that's the point. Um, so not actually very much necessary to really look at in this one. This is going to be short and sweet unboxing. Um, I, um, I mean, to be fair, this isn't one of the first things I'm going to reach for to read. Um, you know, I have plenty of books to read. Um, but if I was going to read a, a political memoir of a former or recent politician, it would very much likely be this one rather than any other. Um, at, um, you know, at, um, but there we go. So, um, um, that's Rory Stewart's political uh, politics on the edge. Again, I look forward to giving that a read at some point in the future. Um, add it to the stack by my bedside uh, table um, at, um, and see what actually comes off the stack. In the meantime, um, thanks for watching another unboxing look. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, then please do um, to click the like button down below. If you've got any other comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post that. 
And lastly, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings and look where you will see me out here with a box containing a book or game uh, or, or, or other book or um, typically a role-playing game or, or book or game. In this case, a physical memoir, which I will unbox just about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. All, of course, accompanied by a nice object of tea. Then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing look. We'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.